Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, a trip to Motown to visit the site of Super Bowl 40, the state-of-the-art new Ford Field. As Dan, Peter, and Susie get you sent for this one, Bears, Lions, now! While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Ford Field. My buddy, Peter O'Keefe, is right alongside me, as always, today. And, Peter, uh, we've got a real treat in store for us this day. We've got a premier quarterback facing off against a potent defensive backfield. That's absolutely right, Dan. Number nine is one of the bigger quarterbacks in the league, and that allows him to see the field and to shrug off some would-be tacklers in the backfield. He's going to have his work cut out for him today, though. The Lions have a crew of cornerbacks who come up with a lot of interceptions, Dan. They do a great job of reading the quarterback and taking off with the throw. These two stellar groups will challenge each other for supremacy in today's game. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. It's heads. Santo kicking off for the Bears. There's the signal, and it's we're ready. Santos boots the opening kickoff. Number 39, downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. Penetrates and stops that back at the 18. Hicks makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Yep, he's not going anywhere, Dan. Second nice tackle. You can't slalom around him like a downhill skier would, Peter. He's going to swallow you up. There's got to be a cross-country skier that time to get around him. He is a low Number nine makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's complete at the 24. Knocked out of bounds at the 26. Number nine played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were around. Number 19 catches the hard throw and they convert on third down. Peterson takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Brought down at the 36. Quinn with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the Lions, 36-yard line. Number 19 he catches the left sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 19 faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. This guy's a great receiver. Beautiful catch, Peter, and his stats are moving up. Moving way up, Dan. He's now got 29 yards on three catches. Peterson gets the handoff and runs into traffic. Number 91 takes him down back at the 47. Second and 12. Ball at the Lions, 47 yards. <laughs> Got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 19.
team as a small crowd of defenders working him in, yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, Dan, obviously it's a Number huge 19. boost, but there's the still a receiver. lot of game left. Number Matt nine throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. Second and 10, ball at the 29. Peterson picks up six on the play, and that brings up third down. Adrian Peterson can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. him down in the backfield and the that carrier. takes them even farther Pitt away from the, the marker. Fourth down coming up. Number five. Fourth down and the field team. goal unit is on Number the field. <laughs> Number five with the 42 yard attempt and and he misses this one to the right. Number five misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Bears send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 32-yard line. <laughs> Montgomery takes his first carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Montgomery powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking Problem was, they couldn't keep that push second going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. <laughs> Number 12 gain makes the nice five. catch, and that's good for a gain of five. Number nine zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed. <laughs> what ball placement. Number nine dumps this one to the flat, and it is not real in, incomplete. Number 12 positioned himself on the outside back there, but the ball didn't position itself in his hands. No catch. Peter, I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down, either way. Yeah, not the right decision in my opinion. Number 16 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 16 takes the long snap and punts it away. Stop at the 28. Number 39 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Lions had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 28-yard line. Number nine, lobs this one over the middle, and it's Passes off, incomplete. incomplete. Number, Number 19, 19, tried to we'll snag that one across receiver. the middle, but doesn't happen. Win. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not gonna hurt you. Second That's a good call. 10. That'll bring up second Ball down. Lions, 28 yard line. Let's live, let's live. Down, they go back, they go back. <laughs> Puller puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Is eligible complete. receiver. Number 73, offense. Five yard Jackson jump. got hit Repeat by the ball. Down. He wasn't expecting it, didn't mean to, but unfortunately he was an ineligible receiver and that's a penalty. Second, Second down, down three wideouts in the game. Ball at the Lions, 23 yard line. <laughs> Number nine, rifles it out left side, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 30. I'm coming down. I'm coming. Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. Number nine is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, 
Well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Bears are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 30-yard line. Montgomery gets the toss and passes the line. Bang down at the 28. With the tackle. That will end the first quarter, the and it's still quarter. a scoreless game. Party. Party don't stop. Party. Party don't stop. Sure. From the north, south, east to west. Party, yeah. Party, yeah. We're about to party, yeah. No quarter of me and my team. Sure. From the north, south, east to west. Just behind the line. Coleman was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And Peter, he reminds me a little of a, of a lion laying in the weeds out there, waiting to pounce. And you need cat-like <laughs> reflexes to bring that guy down. What a matchup. Graham catches the heater left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Graham added some flash to that play with a nice little move after the catch. Good work to get more yards. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. Dominant pass, dominant run, a lot of firepower on the field here. Number nine throws a lob here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 44. Number 44 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Montgomery has his number four on second down and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here, and when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a very nice play. Definitely. Santo to attempt the extra point. Number 14, holding. Here's the point after, the extra point and is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Santos, whom's a beauty here? Number 12 decides to take it out of the end zone. Right down at the 22. Number 12 got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Lions stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 22-yard line. Number nine throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects at the 20. Larry gets out of bounds at the 35. First down. Adrian Peterson throws one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man-to-man. -man. He was one step ahead of the defense. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Hey, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. First down with the right end right. Number 11 grabs the rope that's right complete. side, and that's Four, good for six. Attack. Number 11 doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging Second the football. That'll be his first catch of the All game the after being shut yards. out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. That is him, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Number 46 takes the handoff and gains about three yards. Mack just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers, but 
The only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. And picks up the first down. Adrian Peterson took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Number 11 goes in motion. Number nine throws a bullet, and incomplete. it is not reeled in. Number incomplete. The intended receiver. Number nine With has the been cover. searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 72 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the Lions, 47 yard line. Interceptor. Tackle at the Bears. 45. Johnson knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Bears are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their 45-yard line. Miller goes in motion. Montgomery toss it gets past the line. Stop at the 47. Montgomery used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Second Not much eight. there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down, two receivers to the left. Second down, tight end to the left. And Gilly up four yards, and that will bring up third down. short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Collins made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's got such a vice like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Number 16 gets ready to punt this away. Number 16 gets the ball and punts it away. Stop at the 16. Number 39, didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Lions have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Number 46 goes in motion. Number nine, floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. Incomplete. Number 38. Number 38 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second, Second down coming up. Ball Second down, two wideouts on the field. James catches it in the flat James and picks up maybe a yard. Okay, what's the play? Number nine the made a nice the throw there, got it right Let's past go. the defender. Well, not much of a gain there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third and nine. Ball at the Lions, 17 yard line. 
Number nine zings it to the right side, and it's Pass tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. That Number will bring up fourth down. Number 38 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Fox lines up in deep in his formation. own territory to punt it away. Make the return. Fox gets the snap and punts it away. The 42. Tackled at the 46. Cohen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bears offense takes the field and they will start out at their 46 yard line. Number nine. There's a hater right sideline and. Bears take their first time out. Second down, Second two, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the 47. It's the sack. Bears will take a time out. That's their second. This one way over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Number 16 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 16 takes the snap and punts it away. Number 39 gets it at the 13. Turn of six Tackled the at the 20. Number 39 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Lions offense takes the field with the clock at 27. Peterson gets the carry on first down and will lose about a yard here. Adrian Peterson is really struggling to get any traction, so to speak. No room to run anywhere, and he struggled just to get four yards on seven carries. Second down from the shotgun. Ball at the Lions, 19-yard line. Number 80 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Johnson closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number nine throws a bullet here, and they get the first on third and long. Number 19 had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground the unless the he runs quarter. a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bears are out in front, seven to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dave. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. As we look at the numbers from the first half and look at the turnover column, the Bears should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. 
The Lions towards the end of the first quarter. Ball at their own 23-yard line. Smith is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Dub Bears now early in the second quarter. Montgomery got the carry here and he comes through. They get the first score and go up by seven. The Lions on defense. Johnson would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Lions trailing seven to nothing. Number nine connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Lions are down, but still in it, seven to nothing. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Number 19 has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Bears will receive to start the second five, half, and they the currently enjoy a small lead, seven to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of action in this one overall, but even though they're in good shape, a single score can turn it around. They have to stay focused here. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culber. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Lovey Smith talked to me during the half, and he said he was proud of the way the defense had locked down the field so far. On the other hand, he said they looked a bit sloppy on offense. He really wants them to come out strong and execute well in this half and try to put this game out of reach. Susie, number nine, fires this one over the middle and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. First and ten. All of the Bears, 32 yard Makes it for his eighth carry and Kroger gets back to the line of scrimmage. Montgomery used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Number nine zips it to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. Gets out at the 20. So why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Lions' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at the 20-yard line. Peterson gets the ball and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 58 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That took some strength, Peter. You can't plow him down the way uh, you plow through a buffet line. That depends on what you're serving. Prime rib, watch out. <laughs> Peterson gets the call again and maybe picks up one on the play. Adrian Peterson used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, two game. Big play coming up. Guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, and the extra it's point is good. Gets the 
signal and we're set. This will fly out of the end zone for a touchback. What a kick. Bears have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number nine throws a big rainbow here, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. the intended receiver. Number nine has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 50 yards and one interception. Second down with a split backfield. Ball at the Bears 20 yard line. Kelvin gets the second way back at the 15. Sheldon gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number nine throws a bullet to the flat, and this one is incomplete. Montgomery didn't have anyone on him on that play, but still couldn't make the catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down game. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 16 gets ready to pump this away. Number 16 takes the long snap and puts it away. Puts it down at the 50. Bush did a smash and grab job with the ball carrier to force the fumble back there, Dan. That's how you do it. Peter, he gets his first forced fumble of the day, and it seemed to me that he was looking for that since the first snap. Yeah, he's been going for the ball all day, and, well, it's really paid off. The Lions want to capitalize on the fumble, and will start this drive at their 50-yard line. Peterson will get stopped Matt, at the line, the and that will bring up second down. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man, that time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like a skate drill in practice. You keep your feet moving, zone in, and make the play perfectly done. Peterson gets the ball on second down and rambles for about five. Adrian Peterson has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has 10 yards on 11 carries. Let's stop him here, Dan. Third and Keep four. Right, Ball at the 45. Single back. Single back. Single. Number 11 goes in motion. Number nine lobs this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. That Jackson, will bring up fourth down. Jackson wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Fox lines up to punt after the three and out. Fox gets the ball and punts it away. Catches it back at the 10. Brought down at the 11. Cohen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bears haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 11 yard line. Number nine throws a heater, and it is not real in. Incomplete. Number 23 shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Number 11 goes in motion. Oh, wow. 
first grabs down the fastball there. over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 12 had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been both. Oh, it's hard to believe that play worked. First Peter, I'm 10. sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last yards. three passes to him have all been in completion. Well, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. First down, one man down. Montgomery picked up Montgomery. about seven, and that brings up Harmon second down. Tackle. Second and two. Ball at the Bears 33 yard line. Montgomery gets the call again and takes it upfield. Drag down at the 41. That will bring up first, first down. down. Bears. Montgomery took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the old line gets paid for. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Montgomery loses one on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 51, not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, 10 yards to go. Shelton sacks him way back at the 34. Shelton gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. Peter, he's court. really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. So, three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. It's complete. Short of the markers, however. It'll be fourth down. Number 23 hauls his man down just before he gets past the markers. Yeah, it was like one of those action movies where the ticking bomb gets down to one second before it's defused. Yeah, except this was suspenseful. You are really just all football all the time, aren't you? They gave up some yardage there, but managed to keep them from converting. And that's the major failure. I think the defense won this round. Fourth down coming up. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me. And you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. The turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Lions will start this first play of the drive at their own 20-yard line. Number nine throws a bullet to the flat, and it's incomplete. tipped incomplete. Quinn got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. 20-yard line. Peterson will get stopped at the line, the and that brings up third down. Green with the tackle. Third and nine. Ball at the Lions, 21-yard line. Number nine floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's complete at the 43. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 43. First down. Team dazzled the crowd and frustrated his defense by getting even more yardage after the catch thanks to a really nice move. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed, but right here, height was what did it. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. 
for a first down. Number 19 goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man-to-man. -man. He was one step ahead of the defense. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's got <laughs> throwing in his way. Number nine, White was it out left Pass side, complete. and the ball is caught at the 26. Dragged down at the 24. Number nine, played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. Picked up about seven, and that will bring up first down. Adrian Peterson got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Yeah, superb blocking up front, too. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Number nine throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 19 easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. They've been having some real success by keeping him on the left side of the field, Peter. Dan, that's because of the great routes he's been running. Second and seven. Ball at the 15. Second and seven. Ball at the 15. Down! No good. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 19 was the intended receiver. Fuller. Fuller does cover. some brilliant coverage work here, guarding against the corner. He derails the pass there, saving his team. Whoa, a lot of yardage. That incomplete and the defense keeps the points off the board perfectly played great call by the defensive coordinator third down coming up third, and third down the clock is stopped at 157 <laughs> number nine passes this one after the play action and the receptions made at the 10 runs out and Will stop the clock at 1.52. It'll be first and goal. Oh, look there. 150 plus receiving yards. He's been making plays all game long. Boy coming up. Strong runner in the backfield and a great receiver on the line. And touchdown. the point after and it's good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Number five booms a beauty here. Cohen downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, huh? don't touch me. The Bears start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.48. Number nine uncorks this to the left sideline, and the reception's made at the 38. Finally popped out of bounds at the 44. It will be first down.
First down, two wideouts on the field. Ball at the 44 yard line. Stop. The clock continues to run. Second and nine. Ball at the 43. Number nine. Throws a heater right sideline and it's incomplete. Number 23 had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Third down, empty backfield. a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Number 30 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Uh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number nine throws this one on the road. It falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Graham tried to make the catch over the middle, but couldn't make the grab. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. The Lions will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 1.17. Peterson takes it off the toss, and the Bears take their first time out. Second down. The Second clock is seven. stopped at 113. Rips him down. The Bears will take a time out. That's their second. Third down, three wideouts in the game. The Lions, 45 yard line. Peterson, the Bears take a timeout. That's their final one. Better hope I don't get Fox lines up to punt after the three and out. To make the return. Fox gets the snap and punts it away. Heals the punt at the 14. Stopped at the 16. Cohen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bears will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 57. Number 30 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 30 with the deflection. Yeah, man! Yeah! Yeah! Number 9 has had difficulties, to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 113 yards and one interception. Second down, the clock is stopped at 54. Number nine, airs this one to the left side, and it is not real in, incomplete. Number 12, had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Another ball comes his way, and another incompletion come up blank so many times in a row is, well, it's got to be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slump and grab one to get rolling again. Third down, tight end to the left. Number 11 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down.
Shampton. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. Dan, this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. That's all, folks. They can now run out the clock. What a performance. Second and 11. Ball at the 20-yard line. Well, they'll wait until the last second to snap this one and take as much time as possible off the clock here. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock the wind the all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that is going to do it for this one. The Lions come out on top 14 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Lions stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Coleman shows some great awareness here as he gets himself in a position to pick this one off. The Lions have it off an interception. The ball at the 20. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 19-yard touchdown for the Lions. Game tied, seven all. Number 34 would snuff out a drive on this one. It's a fumble. There he is for the recovery. The Bears again have it. Number nine would find his target on this one. Game tied, seven all. Number 19 makes him pay. He's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. A 36-yard play that set up a Lion touchdown. Montgomery found a soft spot on the defense, and it worked to his advantage. Bears behind by seven. Number 30 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Lions edge out a win, 14 to seven. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Number 19 is on the field with our Susie Calder. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You were fantastic, and you won a close game today. What put you guys over the top? Our offensive line played great all game. They did a great job of protecting the pocket, and they made big gaps for our backs. Some folks like to focus on the skills position, but you gotta appreciate what those guys do for us in the trenches. Back to you, Chris. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.